Memories press between the pages of my mind. Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome to another edition of Scentland. I'm Chris and today I'm going to be presenting a um, fragrance from a designer house, from a designer house uh, from Italy. Um, a quite exclusive house um, that has a fragrance line running as well, but mostly, you know, the female, in the last decades, the female sort of fragrances came into the spotlight and the, the male ones, which in the 70s and 80s were quite prominent, the male ones are getting less and less. And in fact, I think actually the, the, the fragrance I'm going to be introducing today are, is the last, is their last um, male release. Um, I'm talking about the house, the designer house of Nina Ricci. And uh, Nina Ricci has had in the 70s big success with their Signor Ricci fragrance. Um, there, were, there was Signor Ricci 1 or 2 as well, then Ricci Club in 89, and then a fragrance called Memoir. That's why I was you know, referring to that Elvis song uh, previously, Memoir Dome, the memory of a man. Very nice uh, name for a fragrance. 2002 is the year, and open up center stage for the fragrance itself. There you go. Memoir Dom Nina Ricci. And look at this sort of strange, shitty shape bottle here. Um, even the color is a bit different for, for this. It's like two bottles that are being sort of stuck together. It's being designed by Thierry Bashmakov, so, you know, work is in there. And um, the, 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 there's no cap to it, but the, the, the spray mechanism works like if, it's like this, if you don't want to spray, you know, it doesn't work. And then turn it the other way if you want it to spray. And then if it does, it's sort of a bit, to be honest, a bit cheap. Um, sort of mechanism but the bottle itself is actually quite nice and the color you know it's it's nice and, um, and the smell is not too bad either um christy nagel and uh rosando mathieu if i spell the name correctly have been working on this one together and this release 2002 nina ritchie uh, it came out in the fall of 2002. I remember uh, I sniffed it straight away and I, I sort of thought too much tea-like at the time, but it's not really tea-like. Um, sort of educated my nose since then. This fragrance actually um, on the top, and let's start with the fragrance. Well, well, you know, it's, it's a fresh, woody, aromatic um, fragrance that has its positives and its negatives. Um, though in, in, in its entire composition, it's, it's, it's a good fragrance, I'd say. Um, so let, let's dive in there because it's an interesting one. It starts me even to, it starts me to think about it uh, right now as I sniff it again. Um, the, the start is very fresh with a fresh bergamot. Um, very zesty, very fresh, you know, bergamot. Uh, no, sorry, uh, uh, grapefruit, because it's sour. You know, it's not bergamot, it's grapefruit. It's a it's zesty grapefruit uh, there, definitely. And um, what happens then is uh, it's being paired up with licorice. And, um, and it makes it, it makes it, you know, very, it has a very fresh, manly feel to it, you know. Um, and then we go uh, towards uh, the mid section of the fragrance, where um, where you can you definitely vetiver comes into play as well, um, and another fresh note that keeps appearing. Sorry, that's a bit difficult. Uh, um, to, to, you know, there's this disturbing point of this fragrance that ginger comes into play. It's ginger, and uh, this combination of um, 
ginger, grapefruit, and licorice, with licorice being the dominator, and, 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 and ginger and grapefruit adding the freshness, or creating the freshness, with this dominating licorice on top, and vetiver, and, and um, I don't know, maybe cedar wood is in there as well. I think so. Um, they are creating a very uh, manly, fresh, quite unique, quite unique um, sensation, quite unique scent. Um, but especially when you first smell it, it's very taste. It's very tasteful. It's very nice. But if you start to use it again, again, at least in my case, you know, uh, I really like this fragrance. Started to use it, and, and this combination after a while was just too much. Uh, I had this fragrantic fatigue creeping in up to a point where I couldn't smell it any longer because the licorice is way too strong for me, paired up with the, with the, with the grapefruit and, and the ginger. Uh, it's, it's, and it has a sort of a smokiness to it as well. Maybe it's the vetiver. Makes it makes it so smoky, but it could even some sort of incense feel to it. But um, it is it is really a, 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 a fresh brown. You know the the, the um, color of the juice, the color of the bottle is very much matching the the, the, the you know the feel of the fragrance. It's um it's more of a autumn fragrance to me, um, but even in the springtime. I think it could work. It's not a summer fragrance. Maybe for summer evening, right? Um, and and for winter, it's it's also performing well because it's. No, oh, it's so strange. Um, it's um, and overall, it still has this little bit of this black tea thing going on, but but it's just a combination of of, of all these uh, these notes. It's very unusual. The fragrance is very unusual. Uh, you will sniff it to sort of put it in your, you know. Put it right in your senses. What are you actually sniffing? So it's uh, it's 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 very interesting. It's very strong as well, um, and very good performance uh, coming from this fragrance in terms of longevity. For example, it really lasts you um, eight to ten hours with an eau de toilette, and silage longevity, a silage uh, projection. Um, you know both of them. You're gonna get noticed, um, definitely, um, and it reaches out as well. So it has its radius, you know. And one more positive thing: it's quite unique, as I mentioned. So you know, and since it's been discontinued already, it's even more unique now than it was 13 years ago when it was released. So um, the only downside, really, with this fragrance are two things: uh, the sprayer, the, the, this mechanism with the of a sort of I don't, know, don't like it for a reason. The bottle is nice though, um, and 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 the licorice. The lic maybe it's my problem with the licorice, but licorice. The, this this trio of or this triangle of, of of the licorice on top and you know the grapefruit and the ginger. Sort of a, it's too much. It can be too much. It, it it's really, it can be overpowering. Especially if you use it every day, try to make it your, you know, your signature fragrance. It's sort of difficult to pull this off, uh, or to, to to bear this every day. Um, age group, it's it's more of a grown-up scent, I'd say, at thirty and up. Um, it's a fragrance for a man who already has memories. I mean, of course, a young man has memories as well, but you know. It's a fragrance for a man who who already has memories, you know, that aged already a little bit. You know, you need to. There's a matureness combined to this juice here. Um, so, man in his mid late thirties, forties, fifties even, and who is active and you know, but is, is is wise and mature and it's you know, there's not a young guy's uh, juice. Not definitely not. Definitely not. And you know, if I look at it, um, and I 
think that the, 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 uh, the previous release to that was in the, the Ritchie Club in 1989, so 13 years have passed. And, and Re Nina Ritchie made up their mind to create this, uh, it has a beautiful name, this memoir dome, it's very, very nice. Uh, memory of a man, very nice. And the presentation is nice as well. Uh, Thierry de Bashmakov was called in to do the, uh, to do the uh, bottle, and then uh, Christine Nagel and... Uh, you know, it's, it's tickling my nose already. Oh, too much. The licorice is just too much. Oh, um, so where, where was I? And, 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 and Mathieu was coming in, uh, and Nagel. So it was really a heavy sort of investment for, for Nina Ricci, and uh, it didn't really have that, that much of a success, although in the, uh, in the fragmentic uh, or fragrance communities, I see this quite being quite popular. Um, so it's still available here and there. I, I see it in, in, in smaller stores and online as well. So it's still, still, still out there. Uh, price quality versus uh, price versus quality ratio is great because you really get a, a unique scent. You just gotta get used to it. Don't really go for a blind buy on this one. Um, Sometimes I still reach for it, you know, but it's 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 mainly um, in colder weather, or day of the or time of the day, and it's it's getting less and less because of this licorice thing. Yeah, it's it's not it's not hundred percent my cup of tea, but it's a nice fragrance and it, it definitely um, a good release, uh, quality release from Nina Ricci from the year two thousand two. So thanks very much. This is the memory, the memoir or dom. And I'll be back with another review soon. Take care. Thanks for watching again. Any comments, let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.